Hello everyone, Pete here, and one of the biggest Omicron updates of the past year in version 2.1.10 just dropped, and it is a huge update for us existing ROG Ally and Ally X owners, giving us brand new features and also brand new design too. Let's go through how we can get this, and then blast through the main 6 key areas that have been updated, including a complete overhaul to Command Center, which now looks and feels so, so much better. Plus I'll share an essential tip to get a much cleaner and efficient setup for us too. So as we start, a quick interest to note in that I think that many of us expected this on Monday, October 13th. I know that I for one was checking most of the day and it just was not happening. Even going into the My Asus app to see if it was appearing there, but nope. And it was only when I posted a community poll asking you guys what on earth was going on that as usual, you came through yet again because you awesome viewers are so, so smart. In particular, Diva Car 22 who stated that an official statement on Reddit noted that it was actually today on the 15th when it dropped. So a huge thanks for this. So to get this brand new 2.1.10 update, while we're in Army Crate, let's head into Settings, then Update Center, click on the blue Check for Updates button, and this new 2.1.10 version should show right here. So we can simply click Update to get this installed, and it just takes around 10 minutes. When installation is finished, we can click reopen app. We have a new privacy notice to agree to. We have a new power mode synchronization splash screen that I'll talk more about in a moment. So I would recommend us hitting yes to this. We have another new splash screen to choose our theme. I really love the dark one, so I'm gonna select this. And yet another new splash screen about the command center. So I definitely recommend pressing the try it now button and we're in our new armory crate. So let's see what's updated. And the first thing here on the old version, Let's head into the performance area in settings and we can see here on the left that under the GPU settings option, there are no further areas to click on. But now here on the brand new 2.1.10 update, when we head into the performance area within settings, we now have this brand new more settings option. And when we click this and then toggle this new power mode synchronization to on, this will now sync Windows power modes with the Armory Crate operator mode in order to optimize performance and battery, which I definitely recommend us doing. The second change is an Alley X exclusive, which is a new toggle within Command Center to turn the touchscreen on or off. And we can see here in the old version of Command Center that we simply do not have this option to turn off the touchscreen. And it's not even an option to add it onto Command Center in the Edit Command Center shortcut area within Armory Crate settings. But now on this brand new look command center that I'll delve into deeper in a moment, we can click on this new customize command center button right here, scroll down to the bottom and click add, scroll to the bottom and we can now add this new touch screen on and off button. So let's click this to add it to our command center, click back so it's now in our command center list. If we press the button, we can now see that it turns the touch screen off and clicking the button back on again now enables the touch screen back on. And I think that this is especially useful for those of us who get pretty frantic in FPS games like the brand new Battlefield 6, where our fingers may keep slipping onto the display. So if you guys especially struggle with this, then I think that you will especially love this new feature. New key area three is key mapping for external Xbox controllers, which has now just been added. So here in the old Armory Crate settings in control mode, then configure in game mode. We couldn't map external controllers here as there is no setting under gyro. However, now in this new 2.1.10 update, and when we head into configure in control mode, then hit configure in gamepad mode. Yes, we now have this brand new external controller option. When we enter into here, we can now choose how the allies onboard controller behaves when an external controller is detected. For example, we may want to turn this to always disable the allies onboard controls when using our external controller. And we may also want to use the game's native support for external controllers, so it may be best to leave this option off. The description indicates that this is only for Xbox controllers, but let us know below in the comments if this does work indeed with any third party controller and not just an Xbox controller. Key area 4 is an improvement to the feedback hub process. Here on the old Armory Crate settings, that there isn't a feedback option button where we can help Asus improve the Armory Crate software by sending in our feedback. But right here on the brand new 2.1.10 update in Armory Crate settings, we now indeed do have a brand new feedback hub button. And when we click this, we can select whether we like this new Armory Crate or if we think it needs more improvement. And also if we have another remotely connected device, then we can enter a report code here for Asus to assist us better, which I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work, but I guess it may be useful to have if we do need it. 
Pack 5 is a new battery care option that's been added to army crates for optimized charging and battery health. Here on the old army crates, we don't have a battery care option at all. But here, yes, on 2.1.10, the number of settings buttons has gone from 10 to now 12, with that previously mentioned feedback hub and also this new battery health button right here now being added. And going into this new battery health button, we can now toggle on battery care mode right here to preserve our allies' battery to stop charging at 80% capacity, which you can see that I do use and I would recommend this. And we can also toggle on their instant full charge mode for those times that we do need a 100% battery, which is neat. One final interesting aspect I do want to mention about Army Crate settings is here on the old version, the control mode is on the top left with a pic of the OG White Ally. 10 settings are displayed here for us to access and the edit command center area is on the right of the screen. And here on this new 2.1.10 update, when we head into settings, we can see that this really does look completely different now with a much more modern feel. Right at the top next to the control mode is a pic of the Ally X although not of the brand new Xbox Ally X, which I found quite an interesting choice. Hmm. The edit command center on the right has now completely gone. And I really do love how these 12 setting options buttons are now all equal in length, and it just looks overall much more pleasing. And at six is a completely revamped command center with more customization and also integration with the Xbox game bar. Here on the old version, it was pretty limited, we had to cycle through stuff like operating modes to get to the one that we wanted and also the same two for real-time monitor in cycling through each one which was a little bit laborious and right here now on 2.1.10 the new command center really is the crown jewel of this new update i absolutely love that our most used settings can now be in a row like operating mode so we no longer have to keep toggling through them we can now add our new touchscreen on and off button and everything just feels super smooth and responsive like adjusting our brightness and volume levels. As I mentioned, this notepad like icon is where command center customization now resides. So it's no longer in army crate settings anymore, which does make much more sense. And we can click add to customize more row settings like control mode that I'm gonna add. Real time monitor, again, to avoid that annoying toggling through each and every one that we had to do up to this point. I'm gonna add the resolution row too and also the FPS limiter. And I'm gonna leave the LED brightness and AMD chill, but you can add these if you want to. And of course, we can also customize our individual buttons lower down too by adding any that we want. So for example, I'm gonna add the AMD fluid motion frames toggle button, the end task button, which is pretty crucial to get out of games quickly. And I'm also gonna add the take screenshot button too. Then if we hit the Y button to customize, then Y again to move, we can swipe these around and place them exactly where we want them to be within command center. For example, I love having my end task button right on the top right for easy access. And we can also swap around our brand new settings rows too, which is so, so ace. And let's now check out all these brand new areas in command center, starting with the home area where we can jump into our most recently played games here. And also our third party launches just below too. Next is our settings area to change our volume and display brightness to show the keyboard and also a crucial tip that I highly recommend, which is to leave this command mode two on. As when we turn it off, then yikes, it really does get super messy. Man, I really do not like this off at all. With all the Xbox game bar and also command center just completely cluttering up the screen in a chaotic way. To get back to compact mode, we need to hit the settings button on the Xbox game bar, toggle compact mode two on, and phew, back to a much more optimized and much cleaner view. Next is a game assist button where we can search for an online guide and then pin it if we're struggling in a particular game. The next button is our Xbox social info and our friends when online will appear here. Then we have a whole audio section to mix the sound levels exactly to our liking. Then a capture area to take a screenshot, record the last 30 seconds or just start a recording. Next is an area to check out performance info. Then is our screenshots and video capture gallery. And I love that we can open the files directly from this button right here. Next is our Xbox achievements area. Then we have an Xbox chat area right here. And finally a widget section. And I have so much content planned for this and also the Xbox full screen experience. So please do get subscribed if you do enjoy these type of videos and you don't want to miss out on tips, tutorials and guides on these. And we can always go back to the old command center version if we do want to by heading into Armory Create settings then general, 
And here in this new command center section, we can toggle back to the old classic grid version if we really don't like this new version for some reason. I think it's fantastic that Asus is still rolling out these humongous updates to us existing ROG Ally and Alex owners. And like if you agree with it. And I'd love to hear what you think about this brand new Armory Crates version 2.1.10 update and also what features that you love the most. So let us all know below in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Change doesn't happen in a day. It happens with every little habit. Many times it's so easy to get frustrated at the lack of progress that we often make in life in trying to make good habits like remaining positive through stressful situations. But let's not be too hard on ourselves because every step forward is still progress. So stay encouraged today guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. And if you want two hours packed full of guides, tips and tutorials for the brand new Xbox Ally and Ally X handhelds and also for the ROG Ally and Ally X, then check out my ultimate guide right here. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.